People say, well, Jesus was the only one who could do those miracles. Then what do you do about the 70 that he sent out? Mm -hmm. Who were casting out demons. Mm -hmm. They wrought many miracles. They were flesh and blood just like we are. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We've got to get a kingdom mentality. Brother Tim got me on this. It's your fault, Brother Tim. I'll just blame you. <laughs> we have got to get a kingdom mentality. And I understand the problem there, Brother Dennis, because we are so far removed from being under kingship. Everybody that's my generation and, and several generations beyond me or behind me, we have never understood kingdom mentality because we've never been... We've never experienced it. Our forefathers that set this country up understood kingdom mentality. Hmm. They came out from kingdom rule. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I, I thought about that. I, I realized this today. Do you know why this nation was blessed the way that it was? When our forefathers founded this country. They set this country up to be governed exactly the way God had intended for Israel to be governed. The exact same way. It was never intended to be under kingship. God gave them a king in his anger. Read 1 Samuel 10th chapter. He had brought them out of Egypt. He had brought them out of bondage. He had kept them in the wilderness for 40 years. Never had to worry about food. He, they, they, they lived off a miracle every day. Yep, yep. Every day they lived off a miracle. Jesus provi or God provided for them every day in the wilderness. He, sure he brought them to a land flowing with milk and honey. A place where they hadn't planted the vineyards they hadn't planted. They were reaping off somebody else's work. And yet they wanted a king. They wouldn't honor the God who had brought them out of bondage. They wouldn't honor the God who had kept them in the wilderness. They wouldn't honor the God Come who on brought now. them to this promised land. Come on. They desired a king to be over them. So God in his anger gave them a king. Since that time, Jesus has come into this earth. Kingdom mentality. Now you've got to understand that when he walked this earth, he was walking in kingdom mentality. He was walking with kingdom authority. If you don't believe me, look at what happened when, I think it's the Mark 5th chapter. When he told his disciples, Jesus had been up to the mountain. He went up there alone to pray and he told his disciples to enter into a ship. Let's go to the other side. 